Hey guys, can you come in here? I am outside uh, in my garage uh, building this thing. Made it tower late. Heard mixed reviews, but I'm running out of storage. Uh, so I'm going to kind of jump in and out of building it. Now here's uh, all the parts and those things. and This is what it will look like. Um, heard mixed reviews on this. But I'm just going to kind of jump in and out at different parts of the progression of building. I have a lot of crap to clear out to make space for this and reorganize a ton of crap. Um, just this is going to take all day, I'm sure. Uh, and then after that will be a Blu-ray pickup. So I will tag uh, a time in the uh, annotations, or not the annotations, but the description of when the Blu-ray pickup starts. So you can just click on that. Uh, it will show you my overall collection of the shelf, and then we'll go straight into the Blu-ray pickup for this week. Uh, all right. Hope you enjoy this video. All right. So it's coming together nicely. At least it uh, sort of looks like a shelf. Um, there is a slight bit of customizability to this. I mean, the set shelves are fixed, but uh, it's kind of hard to see. But like everything's equal distance except this this part here, all right? And that's because this was set to fit CDs. Now, obviously, I'm not going to fit CDs, but I figure uh, at sideways, my TV shows were all fit nicely on there, um, except for ones I want to display, like like Fargo and stuff. Uh, so I might do that. Other option is, um, actually it might have to go in the middle, which is a bit of a shame because I've seen people, images are within the top. Uh, I'm going to have to try it out because I thought it'd be as simple as switching the bottom for the top, but it looks kind of like this has to go here because of the way that's held. So unless, unless I put, hmm, I don't know, I'm going to give this a look over, think about it, come back, show you in a little bit. So it looks like there's no way to put those at the top, uh, even though like, unlike in this image here, this one here where it's in the middle, I've seen a video and all the images on the website have it on the top, and then look at this, like, this is the top here, and it's the CD size one. So, I don't know what to do. Um, I'm not sure, because I really want it on the top, because I thought maybe if I forgot to put the tippy top on, I could just have it open on the top, so that the CD can fit more. Alright, so I figured out there is no way for me to do this. The other videos I've seen seem to be of older models um, or something because they have just a plain black this has like a little um, carbon fiber appearance on the backing and then um, the only thing is I can't explain the images on the websites that show that it's at the top other than maybe they just photoshopped that old model and put the carbon fiber in and said oh there you go so so I don't know uh, the things that have to be the center I didn't really want to split it up and be like oh there are my TV shows um, so now that I think about it I think what I'm going to do is in the center it's not really what I want in the centerpiece of my collection though but in the center I'm either going to do TV shows or I'm going to do my uh, DC animated films and DC films uh, you know, Batman films uh, with the stuff I have on the bottom shelf now um, because it's just the way it works is that Dow has to oh, this is not right, hold on, sorry but this Dow thing, this little circle thing you can see it sort of, has to stick in there and that's the only way to attach this to anything uh, because even if I put the top here and then flipped it around so that this could screw into the top. There's no way I can connect the top to the other side of this. Uh, my fingers are all getting away because I can't really see the screen from where I am. Um, so I'm just going to keep building, putting it together, uh, and then I'll decide when I'm putting my collection up what I want to do based off the width. I mean, it's CD width, so there's not much I can do with that unless I want to put stuff sideways. Uh, and I don't know what I want to do. Mm. I don't know. Uh, maybe I'll put my... I don't know. It's, uh, it's annoying, but we'll figure it out. Uh, talk to you in a little bit. So I've made a terrible mistake. 
that hole. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, this part needs to be the top, not the bottom, because that's where the uh, the wall mounts go. So I have to take these two parts off, and then put them on these two parts, and then cry because I just wasted a whole lot of time. Uh, see you guys in a little bit. All right, so I fixed the mistake of the two parts, and now I'm about to attach them together. Ooh, cool stuff! Yay! Da 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 da! It's a shelf. Um. We had a, a bit of a mishap, um, as you can see there is no top to my shelf, however uh, there is an American flag there that's uh, been very disgraced, I apologize, um, but yeah, there's no top, and the reason there's no top is because here is the top, well two pieces out of the three pieces of the top. Um, so. Remember on the middle shelf, I was complaining about how there's these uh, necessary locky things. Uh, so I couldn't put this middle part on the top like I had planned. Uh, well, as it turns out, I locked those little things, but the wooden dowels didn't take that are in there, and the locks wasn't good enough. And so this whole upper part here just came tipping over. And I'm pretty lucky because, uh, well, I got this at Best Buy, and this was the only Best Buy uh, that had this one. And I didn't want to ship it from Amazon, so I thought, well, why don't I go replace it? And I looked at the damage, and I thought, you know, it's just the top shelf. Everything else is perfectly fine. That took the bun of the force. There's no reason for the top shelf because it's literally as thin as this. Like, there's, I'm not going to be able to put anything up there. So I thought, okay, just remove the top shelf. Uh, you know, maybe I can fit the Marvel briefcase in here now. Um, I don't know. I don't know what the plan is. Uh, but uh, I have a few more screws to put on the back. This back is a bitch and a half to put on, by the way. Uh, it takes the most time out of all of this, even counting my screw up. Uh, but I'm going to dust it off, finish up the screws on the back, and then i got to clean out that... I say clean out because it is organized, but it's an organized mess. And you've probably seen it in some of my other videos. Uh, it's the computer desk that I no longer use, and then my comic book shelf, which is just shit piled on shit piled on shit. Um, so I gotta do that. I gotta mount this to the wall, and then I gotta move everything else around. Uh, and it is 7 o'clock, so I'm gonna go grab dinner first. Uh, and then continue working and I'll probably working out this through the night maybe tomorrow uh, I know tomorrow morning I'm probably gonna go get Kingsman I can say it's Monday but uh, yeah so uh, the next time you see me probably all the stuff's gonna be gone and this thing's gonna be full of blu-rays uh, all right looking forward to it all right we're back um, it actually has it's been like a week guys um, I, I kind of did this uh, I had to rearrange everything uh, the shelf is done. There it is. All the stuff on it. Uh, there's my old shelf over here. Now I have some, uh, there's my Statham collection. Some movies or steelbooks. I kind of want to move um, Jumanji. Can't really see it back here with the camera. Uh, and then I have some, wow, you can't see that at all. Some anime down there. Um, and you, uh, yeah, that kind of, you can slide up the brightness maybe. You can kind of see it now. Slide it back down. Um, anyways, so, so that's it. It's been like a week. Um, I kind of picked up some stuff. There aren't worries, but uh, this, it, it took, it's still not even fully done. There's still a lot of uh, organization just around the room. Um, I have a lot of, like, boxes there that I have to get put away. Uh, it's getting there. Uh, this was a much greater task than I thought it would be. Um, so, I mean, as you saw, I actually, it, it's been so long I can't even remember, but I'll, I'll re-mention it and I might cut the first part out or this part. Um, the top of the shelf fell off, which actually kind of worked to my advantage because now 
um, this briefcase can fit there. I have some space for new Marvel films. Um, if I need to, I can actually move this probably on top of there. So I can make more space for Marvel films as they come out. Uh, I still have... I, I wasn't sure what to do with this row here. Um, in the image, it showed that it was on the top. And I thought I could just, uh, you know, stick whatever in there. But nothing fits right. It doesn't fit. Like, it fits almost two Blu-rays laying together. So that's kind of what I wanted. Like, you know, let me grab Liar Liar. Let's see if it's there. Oh, you can't see actually. See if it's there and there. So it almost works. It just kind of doesn't. Um, so right now I have like Batman there, um, my arc reactor, and a little toothless box thing that I made from Comic Con. Um, and then I kind of have uh, uh, my uh, other. Sorry, I was trying to find the camera where I put them. Um, Jesus. Now, I have my other Batman stuff down there for now because I'm not sure what to do with it. Um, there are a couple plans, TV shows in here or Batman stuff, and it just, it didn't look full, so I'd rather have it empty than full. Um, so any addition that kind of fits like this will go in there. Um, so, so this is that. Um, I have some posters. This is a Jurassic World poster. Oh, it's fantastic. I want to kind of fill... Uh, this space up the posters and then you know down here I have Mad Mad Max there's my garage there's some trash in there we'll close that for now um Mad Max and I can fit another kind of poster down there uh, below it um but so yeah that's kind of it I mean I have some more organization to do but I just I needed to get this video out I actually had a uh, quite a stack of of things that I picked up um, the last two weeks that I need to get through uh, just because it's been a while for a video um, this is Tuesday so I picked up a couple of them today um, and I picked up a couple last week um, with the intention of putting it on that video um, with the beginning part of building the, the shelf the terrible difficult shelf that I had to build uh, pretty much on my own um, which I'm not very handy at all. I'm surprised I survived. Um, yeah, so uh, let's go through the pickups. I'm not going to take these off the shelf. Uh, these are the Best Buy exclusive um, Fast and Furious set. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Uh, they were cheap, um, and they all had them at one store, which is kind of like what I was going to do if they had them all at one store. Yes, I realize now I have three <laughs> sets of this for six films, um, but whatever, and I figured if seven matches, um, I can kind of shift this over a bit more, move that, and then fit seven in there. Um, if it matches, I hope it does, because <laughs> I kind of bought them with the intention of it matching. Um, so what else? Uh, this, I actually, this was one of my first Blu-rays, and I completely forgot about it because... Um, when I picked up my PS3, which was my first Blu-ray player, I really wanted a movie. So I went to Fry's and picked this up um, because I had seen it in a uh, school, and I really liked it. And that's uh, Run Lolo Run. Um, I'm probably gonna set this up a bit weirdly. I'm probably gonna, when I film from now on, uh, do face cam sort of thing and have it set up on like a little tripod thing so that. I can be standing in the corner next to uh, Dos Equis man there. Uh, don't ask. Uh, actually, if it was from uh, a work thing. Anyway, so yeah, this is actually <laughs> technically my first Blu-ray ever. Um, so, you know, cool. I found that when I was getting rid of the desk from Hell, which is currently sitting in the garage because I still haven't moved it down. Uh, next, I got Kingsman. Uh, who didn't pick up this movie? Honestly, this was... I kind of want to... There we go. Light. There we are. Um, I watched it again. I watched it in theaters and I loved it. I was so surprised with this film. So uh, I had to pick it up day one. Uh, which is kind of a shame because I know it dropped down a price like right afterwards. Uh, I can go to price adjust at Target. But the reason I, I picked it up at Target was because they were doing that dollar deal. 
It's a four dollar. I got uh, J. Edgar with a slip. And then I figured that was the only thing with a the slip there, and I thought it's kind of cool. I've never seen it. I like Leonardo DiCaprio. I've kind of heard mixed things about it. Uh, I, I've not heard that, but you know, whatever. Um, so uh, next, I got uh, um, Doctor Strangelove, the uh, Best Buy Pop Art Edition Steelbooks. Now I'm three of these. Uh, I like this film. I think it's really good, and I know um, I prefer Digi Books, but that Digi Book is so far out of print that uh, I'm not going to even bother. So I figured this is kind of a cool addition to have of it. So, um, yeah, so I'm happy to have it. There's no inside artwork, just like all the pops, uh, pop art stuff has. Uh, next, I picked up a this is this is a dupe upgrade because I can sell the first one, uh, Boondock Saints. With the slip and the poster. I wanted some posters to put up. And uh, I like this one a lot. And now, um. Put that in there. And now both boondocks have slips, which is cool. Uh, just like the transporter has a slip now. And I think Fargo with the red case. I actually want to put, um. What did I want to put in a red case? Oh, what was it that I wanted to put in a red case that I thought would be cool? Oh, Baba Duke. I thought that'd be cool. Um, next, uh, these these last three um, Target I picked up this week. Um, yes, or you're gonna see this yesterday, or it's gonna be yesterday when you watch this, but it'll be today when I picked it up. Um, they had a um, ten percent off all media books, CDs, and movies um, at Target, plus my uh, red card, debit card, which I signed up for, I got in time to go purchase these, and they were all under twelve bucks. Uh, anyways, so they all came out to like ten bucks each. Uh, taken three, I probably could have waited and had that drop down a bit, um, but I figured uh, why not for the price. Uh, this one is what I went there for because this came out uh, with a twenty four ninety nine. Or twenty two ninety nine price tag, which is insane. Um, for a new Blu ray on relaunch week, but that's uh, American Sniper with Bradley Cooper. I almost picked up. Uh, oh, I can't remember the name, but that new movie um, with Jennifer Lawrence and Bradley Cooper um, it was an independent film. It's getting subpar reviews, so I ended up waiting on it because it was twelve dollars, and I figured I'll wait. I want to say Sella. Or something like that. I can't remember what it's called. Uh, and next, I got this was um, thirteen dollars on sale from fifteen, which which is probably the more expensive of the three that I bought. Uh, big eyes. Uh, I love uh, Christoph Waltz uh, and Amy Adams is good too. Except I didn't like Man of Steel, so whatever. Um, I've been wanting to see this. I didn't realize it had already dropped down to um, to fifteen dollars. That's uh, insane. Uh, that was fairly quick. So it was in the uh, fifteen dollar thing at uh, Target. Uh, so I might go back and pick up some more at that price. Maybe the the remastered. Uh, uh, you can't even see that. I need to get like a, a light over here if I'm going to be doing this. Um, the remastered Terminator um, that came out. With the red case, um, I know that's like seven fifty, so I'm gonna pick that up because minus fifteen percent is a pretty good price for that. Um, so, anyways, if you watch the intro of me building this shelf, I appreciate it. Um, when everything is all said and done, I'm gonna do a room tour, a proper room tour, um, and then uh, yeah, uh, I got I got more work to do. Um, if you skipped it and just watched the pickup, I got a new shelf. Um, I'll put, the, like I said, I'll put the time code in the description. This is going to be a fairly long uh, video, which means it's going to take forever to edit and upload on my phone. But yeah, sorry it's been so long. Two weeks is kind of a long time. Uh, you know, so thanks for sticking around. Uh, I got a couple more subscribers, which is cool. I think when I do 50, I'm going to do some, uh, some cool giveaways. Um, but, uh. Until then, guys, 
Thanks for watching, and as always, 